Hey, Darkman here, and welcome back to Bleach Chapter 635, not 635, that's like forever ago. The Miracle. Because, you know, Gerald, the Miracle, the thing. So, yeah, he basically goes on his huge old ramble about, like, what a miracle is. And then Ranger's kind of like, are you always just talking out of your A like this? Just like, just shut up, come on, man. I've heard enough of this. And so he kind of keeps going, like, watches, like, a miracle occurs. And so, yeah, he kind of just decides he's heard enough of this and just decides to shred him. And then he's just kind of like, Captain, what the fuck is going on? Like, he's like, yells it, like, with a question mark and an exclamation point, which means he's, like, yelling at him questioningly. So Biakki's just kind of like, I just gotta finish him. So he shreds him apart. And, and um, Momo kind of thinks that Biakki went a little far. And then Shinji's kind of like, well, with an opponent like him, he probably could have figured out our weaknesses and then just, like, turned the fight around in one fell swoop. And if we're going to do the job, then we might as well do the job right and make sure we finish it. Or at least that's what he thinks that Yokio meant. And that's exactly when Gerald just like brought down by like a tower of like Zen Bones off and just like boomed into the ground. And then like and as like the entire was just like walking like, I guess we won, but I mean it was all bloody, but I mean, hey. Because when suddenly a giant foot which I kind of actually thought was like a mistral, like that doesn't look right. So I looked down the page. And I'll turn giant foot smashes down, they're all kind of like, what the fuck is this? And then Renji's kind of like, I think it's a foot. And that's when it turns out, the Colossal Titan appeared, guys. Yeah, so, um, there are so many, uh, fan fictions about, like, crossing over, uh, animes and mangas, and Bleach made it officially happen. So it's basically the seven of these guys, seven, so I didn't exactly count, against the Colossal Titan, I mean, honestly, um, well, the Titans may pose a huge threat and attack on Titan, they might not pose much of a threat here. Well, and that's not the Colossal Titan, that's just Gerald. And so he basically just kind of, like, says, like, you shall address me as Gerald Valkyrie, or Gerard. I hate the, I hate Arsenal's manga. So he basically says that, like, the miracle power is he takes all the damage he take he uses all the damage he's taken to transform. Which I don't know if like every time he takes his dam takes damage now he'll just keep getting bigger and bigger. Or if it's just like he has to take it damage and then he can transform once and that's it. <laughs> Which along with the other two makes him seem kind of unfair because with this it basically means you have to fight him twice. It means that you have to beat him down, you have to whittle him away and then he transforms into something ten million times more powerful. And then you're basically ready. And so yeah, he says that he's impressed with these guys. It's been a it has no one's ever gotten him this gigantic with power because like more damage he takes, the bigger he is. So he basically grabs one of the towers, like one of those basically sky skyscrapers, just fucks it up, hucks it at him, destroys the part that Momo and Shinji are standing on. Sinji saves Momo as he's about to fall, but then Gerald's hand just comes down and booms him, smashes him right into the ground. And then that's when Byaki decides that he's just going to try and finish it. So he starts uh, shooting Zen Bun Zakra, and Scott, Gerald just kind of stands up, sits there, and just like, really? Just boom, backhands him. Well, backhands the tower. Or in. Um. This attack name, uh. I don't know if this is just like a mistranslation or this is actually the attack thing, but he says pandas are really silly looking animals and he breathes what looks to be fire and he says wallow in the terror of your helplessness and yeah, that in one fell swoop he takes out all six of these guys and that got me thinking what are they supposed to do against that? I mean, even if they all went Bankai, will that really be enough? I mean, with Renji, sure, it's a huge power increase. 
but at the same time, he was already doing pretty well against Maste Masculine when he went into Bankai. And, yeah, sure, he won the fight pretty easily, but he was also kind of trumping him before they both transformed. And Byakuza is just getting more razors, which, I mean, well, more blades, and the blades didn't really seem to do anything against him. So that's not really going to be useful. The only thing I see being really useful is Shinji's, and maybe Rukia's. The thing with Senji, Shinji is he can basically just re completely reverse him. It doesn't cause any damage, it doesn't do anything. He can basically just reverse everything and kind of get him to walk off the edge and then die. <laughs> that would be the best way. I, I want that to be the way that this fight ends now. It has to be. But I'm with Rukia's Bankai. The reason I say it might not affect him is because he's just, it might just not freeze all of him, he might just be strong enough to like break out of it the moment he starts freezing, it just might not work, and, it, and if it doesn't work, Rookie's just going to be left open for like one boom, and she like moves too fast, she melts, so no one can really like grab her and like pull her out of the way, or she'll die. So I, I have no idea what they're going to do to beat him, except for make him walk off the edge. That's how it has to be. If it isn't, Kubo's going to be getting some very angry letters from a very angry Darklander. But yeah, that's the end of the chapter. See you guys next time.